Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to review for you the Hinged and Seamless Lay Flat Books by Presto Photo. Just a few weeks ago I was reviewing for you the new Apple Books by Presto, in which review I briefly touched on the Lay Flat Books as well, but in this review I'm going to show you in more detail uh, the two versions that they provide, the Seamless and the Hinged version. Just a few words about the company before I go and talk about the books. Presto Photo is located in America and I reviewed them in the past, the Perfect Bound book and the new Apple books. They have a huge range of photo books in a vast selection of sizes, lots of cover options, lots of paper options and lots of editing options. Besides that they have the usual photo gifts and stationary items that you can order from the website, you can visit them on www.prestophoto.com. When I reviewed first Presto Photo two years ago, they didn't have a lay flat book and now they reintroduced it into the range which I think is great because uh, lay flat books are the way to go now. And the other thing you have to remember is that Presto Photo is at the moment the only company in the world who can print your Apple books from Aperture Photos iPhoto in a lay flat format uh, in the same design. Right, so let's talk about the two books. If you don't know the difference between seamless and hinged, the main thing that you need to understand and remember is that while seamless lay flat means that the photos are printed on a double spread without any break, in the hinged lay flat version, let me show you that. So in the hinged lay flat version, the photos are going to be printed on double sided sheets which are attached to the hinge in the middle. So although the book is opening completely flat, it's not going to be continuous because there is a little break in the middle. So that's the main difference between the two books in um, the aspect of the binding. Obviously the paper is going to be different as well, but I'll get to that in a few minutes. The great thing about creating these books is that you've got three ways of um, creating them. There is a PDF upload that works with uh, Apple apps like Aperture, iPhoto and Photos. You can create the book there, then just export it as a PDF and get Presto to print them. They have matching sizes for all the Apple standard books. The second one is to use their dedicated um, editor on their website, which is really creative and it's a community as well because everybody can upload their own designs and other people can use it. And the third one is if you're a pro, you can use Adobe InDesign or any other software, uh, get the templates for the sizes, export the PDF, and again, get your books printed in whatever format, uh, paper type and cover option you want to. Let me quickly show you the pictures from this book. It was created in Apple Photos, so it wasn't created in the Presto editor, but I exported the PDF and got Presto to print it for me. These are pictures from my recent trip to, very short trip to Paris, it was only half a day. I went in the morning and came back in the afternoon just to visit my friend for lunch and these were some of the pictures we took. I mean these are actually quite a lot of pictures for a half a day trip but uh, that's the kind of layouts that I created in Apple. Let me go into my up close shots and show you the paper, cover binding, printing and the editor and then I say a few more words about delivery, the full price of the book and the pros and cons of these books. Let's start with the sizes as usual. So the seamless lay flat book comes in the following sizes 8x8, 12x12, 11x8.5 and 14x11 inches. If you ever used Apple before, you'll notice that these are the exact same sizes as Apple used to come in and the hinged lay flat comes in 5x5, 7x5, 8x8, 8.5x11 portrait, 11x8.5 landscape and 12x12 inches. It's a bit confusing to me why the two books come in different sizes, they are both lay flat and should be under the same category, but I assume it has to do something with the binding method. But anyway, the two books all together come in seven sizes, so both of these are 8x8 inches square. Let's move on to the cover options. If you choose the lay flat books, you've only got one cover option, which is an image rep hardcover. And this can come in two different finishes, the matte, which you can see here, it's completely matte. And I also have an order book from Presto, this would be the glossy finish. So the same image wrap hardcover, but in a glossy finish. Whichever you choose uh, is going to be the same kind of um, design. These books were obviously created in photos, but even if you don't do your books in Apple, 
If you do it in their own designer on the website, you can have anything you want on the front, one picture, a collage of pictures, text, you have a, a spine text, and on the back you can again have your own design. I chose to have nothing in Apple, and uh, you've got a small logo here, Presto Photo, which you can have removed for a small charge. And that's basically how it looks. It's completely smooth and it has no shine as you can see. And that's the exact same on the seamless lay flat as well. Let's move on to the binding. Obviously both of these books are lay flat, but there is a big difference between the way they are bound. Let's start with the seamless lay flat as that's my favorite. So the seamless lay flat, as the name says, has no breaks in the flow of images at all. So it's printed on double spreads which are then stuck together creating you these beautiful panoramic views. So you can have images which spread across two pages without any break in the middle. Um, let me show you a few more pages. And the book starts on the right hand side page, the first page, and you've got an empty page here on the back side of the cover. Now if you choose the Apple style binding and you had a dust jacket in your design, then the inlays of the dust jacket would be printed on the inside of this cover. If you go to the back of the book, then again it finishes on the left side page, you've got one empty sheet and that's it. Now let's have a look at it from the top. It's a very very neat spine as you can see and you should be able to see that the pages are stuck together right there and that's how you get the beautiful lay flat look. So just a few more of the photos. And now let me show you the hinged version. So this is slightly cheaper and it starts with a double empty black spread and then you've got another black sheet on the left side and the book starts on the right side, the same way. Now when I start paging this book, instantly you'll see this black hinge in the middle and that's part of the binding process. So how it works is the pages are not printed as double spreads, they are printed just as usual uh, double-sided paper and they are attached to a hinge in the middle, it's a plastic hinge and it's going to hold the pages in place in the spine. Let's have a look at the top. So you can see that's where the hinge is and that's where the pages are attached to the spine and that's how it looks compared to the seamless one. And instantly you can see how much thinner the pages are in this one. It's the same book, the same amount of pages, but it looks half the size. Why should you choose this and why not the other one? If you just want that lay flat look when your book stays open without you having to hold it open with your hands and you don't have too many photos that will spread across two pages, then I think this is a really good option because it's cheaper, it's more affordable and it's kind of the same quality. So let's have a direct comparison of the pages. If you start at the beginning and if you have layouts which are restricted to one page, then there's not really any difference. Both books stay completely open and you kind of get the same look. The only issue is when you obviously have something that spreads across two pages, then ideally you wouldn't want to see this black hinge in the middle because it breaks the flow of your image, unlike in the seamless lay flat. So that's the main difference basically between the two bindings. There's also one paper type that's logged to the binding method, but we'll go to that now. So let's move on to the paper options. There are two kinds of papers that you can choose. You can't really choose it. Once you choose your binding type, you're going to get the paper type with it. So the hinged lay flat comes with a 250 GSM velvet paper and the seamless lay flat comes with a 450 GSM luster finish paper. So what's the difference? The first thing that you have to note is that the seamless lay flat is a lot, lot thicker. It's almost twice as thick, 450 GSM versus 250. So obviously you can see that when you put the two books together, that one is a lot thinner than the other. When you page it, you obviously notice that this one is difficult to bend and this one is a bit easier to bend. Both are really strong. I mean, 250 is almost twice as strong as the average perfect bound photopic paper, which is usually around 148 GSM. But if you want something that lasts a bit longer and uh, is going to be sturdier, then seamless lay flat is a better option. The colouring of the paper is just a little bit different. I noticed that the seamless lay flat 
is less white than the velvet. The velvet seems to be a brilliant white paper, whilst the seamless leaf led, the Lustre 450, has a very, very subtle creamy colour. I'm not sure if you can see this here, but this one is just a little bit whiter than that one, so this book seems to be a little bit on the colder side, whilst the, the photos in this one are a little bit warmer. Now, it depends on your preference. If you prefer your pictures to be slightly warmer, uh, have a bit more yellow, warmer tones in it, then choose the seamless lay flat. If you like a more neutral colour range or palette, then go with the velvet. And finally, the finish of the paper. To me, they both look rather matte. They have very, very subtle sheen. As you can see when you page it, you can see it, but it's nothing like a high gloss paper where you would struggle to see it in a bright light like what I've got here. Let me try to show you the difference. So you can see the pearly uh, texture in the seamless leaflet, which is lustrous, and that's the velvet, which also has kind of the same amount of sheen, but it's a lot smoother. So that's all about the paper types in these books. And let's talk a little bit about the editing process. As I said in my previous Presto review, you've got three options to do these books. One is if you do them in Apple, Aperture, iPhoto or Photos in the newer uh, iOS systems. I created these books in photos and you can export it as a PDF and just get Presto to print them. They've got the same sizes so you shouldn't worry about cropping and things like that. The second option is if you go onto the Presto website which has its own dedicated editor and they've got loads and loads of themes and it's kind of a community so everybody can upload their own themes and you can share them and get paid for them, choose them. You can combine, mix and match. The editor is very, very creative. It just still has a few flaws, so it's not completely flawless. When I was using it, uh, I noticed certain features to be difficult to find, or maybe some of the functions weren't working as I'm used to from other editors. So it is a very good editor, but it just has a little bit of a learning curve until you become comfortable with it. And the third option is uh, if you are a pro, you can use Adobe uh, Illustrator or InDesign and uh, export again a PDF which you can later on print with Presto. So delivery, uh, the books obviously came from the United States. They have a really big range of delivery options from the cheapest Super Saver to the most expensive FedEx International Priority. So the price really depends on where you are in the world what you're ordering and how fast you want it to be with you. I think the cheapest starts from like four or five dollars and the most expensive international priority with FedEx is around 60, 70 dollars depending on the volume of your order. The full price of these books, so the hinged one starts for an eight by eight inch at 27 dollars and the seamless version of the same size book starts at $44. I think that's a really great price. The hinge version is obviously a no-brainer, it's really affordable, it's the price of most perfect bound books. If you want that lay flat look but you don't really care about panoramic photos, then this one is for you. If you have lots of shots that require a double page spread, or if you just like layouts which are spread across two pages, and then for a little extra charge, you can go for the seamless lay flat. And finally, what are the pros and cons of the books? Let's start with the pros. First of all, you've got three ways to edit these books, as I mentioned. The book comes with a great cover. It's a beautiful, soft, matte finish. It also comes in the glossy as well, if you want to. Uh, the papers are really pretty. One is illustrious, the other one is velvety. Both are quite matte, but they're a nice, strong, good quality paper choice. The bindings are outstanding. Both the seamless and the hinged version are really strong and sturdy, whichever you choose is going to be great. And the print quality, despite being digital, is really good. It was a good color balance, good dynamic range, and it seemed really vivid to me. A few of the cons to watch out for or consider before buying any of these books is that at the moment there is only one cover option for these books, the hardcover image wrap. You can't choose the die cut or the embossed. Uh, leather, linen, anything like that. So an introduction of some more premium covers like leather and linen would definitely be welcome in the near future. Also, I was missing the high gloss paper option. Both these papers are really nice, but some people love a high gloss finish for extra dynamic range and um, vividness of um, the print. So that would again be a great addition to the range. And also 
There is no server highlight printing at the moment for these lay flat books, so they are all printed using a digital method. Finally, as I said in my previous reviews before, uh, the, the dedicated Presto editor needs a little bit of fine tuning and there is a bit of a learning curve before you become comfortable in the editor. It doesn't mean that it's not a great editor, it just needs to be a little bit more user friendly. So these are my thoughts on the Presto lay flat books. Uh, they are a great new addition to the range, you should try them out, they are at a great price and again you can do your Apple books in an amazing lay flat version. Whichever you choose is going to be nice, my personal favourite is obviously the seamless lay flat but I know many of you will like the hinged version as well because it's more affordable and it gives you the same lay flat look. If you want to see more up close images of these books or read more about the review you can go onto my blog thephotofaguru.com. Uh, if you want to see more of my travel photography from Paris or anywhere else, then uh, follow me on Instagram, Guy Around the World. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and as always, subscribe for more.